Okay, today we're going to look at the alternator protection device. Uh, this is something you put onto your alternator to protect it um, in case somebody switches the power off, the uh, electrics off on one of those one, two, both uh, electrical switches, or the actual cable drops off your alternator. And um, as we know, if you have an alternator working at full power or at a lot of power and you switch it off, then you will destroy the alternator's regulator, maybe the diodes. It's a very expensive repair and um, this device will stop that from happening. So we're going to show you it actually working and that you can do whatever you want and you cannot damage your alternator by switching it off with the engine running. Here we have an alternator set up ready to go and we have an ammeter and a voltmeter that we will record in real time so that you can actually see what's going on. So if I uh, set the record on the monitoring the amps and the volts, let's start by firing this alternator up and getting it working. So I've sort of jury rigged this because we're going to be doing a few things with it. So it's not um, what you call a professional installation. So we're just here to show you uh, the thing actually working. So uh, let's switch on the drain. And let's fire up this alternator. Okay, so as you can see here, this alternator is pushing out about 150 amps. Now, if I was to break this cable, you can be very sure you will destroy this alternator. I'm not going to do that because I've got better things to do than fix the alternator afterwards. So anyway, that's just to show you the alternator there working. Um, you can see everything there is okay. So what I'm going to do now is fix this. And then when I've fitted this on, I'm going to disconnect the alternator while it's running at 150 amps. So let's just switch this off at the moment. And switch the load off. So now I'll just fit the uh, alternator to the this alternator protection device. Okay, a quick rundown on what you've got here. You've got two connectors. One connector will run a buzzer or a relay to give you warning that you know the event has happened. And the other connector is the bit that you connect to the alternator cell. The wiring diagram is very simple. So I'll just get a couple of wires and we'll uh, wire this up. Okay, so what we've done here, we've put a positive and a negative. The negative's gone to the negative of the alternator. We've put it behind the cable so that if the wire was to fall off, the um, negative would be the last thing to fall off. Same with the positive, we've put it behind the positive output on the alternator so that the positive output could fall off and the protection device is still on the alternator. So it's just the first thing that goes on the stud. Then over here, which uh, we have the amps and the volts. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to loosen this by my finger so that I can undo this with the alternator working just to prove that the unit works. So I'm going to fire the test bench up now and then when it's running, I'm going to disconnect the positive when it's on full current. Okay, you can see here we've got the uh, 150 amps on the alternator and I'm going to disconnect it. Okay, now the big question is, have I destroyed the alternator? If I've destroyed it, when I put this back on again, it won't work. If it's okay, it'll work. And there you go. Alternator's working fine. So that was an alternator disconnected at 150 amps. So that's just showing what the device does and really why you should fit it. Uh, so a very low cost device when you consider how much money it can save you. If I switch that off now, we still have one healthy alternator. So that's just a quick rundown on what the alternator prote protection device does. Download the instructions, very simple, very easy to fit. You can put this anywhere in the bulkhead, wherever you want to. And um, obviously when you're finished, put the lid over the top and the job's done. So that's the rounds up the alternator protection device. Thank you.